So ever since I started this hydroponics YouTube channel, people have been telling me to grow a certain type of lettuce. They told me, Natalie, if you want to make money in this industry, there's one way to go. Unfortunately, my mother made me agree to never grow this type of lettuce in exchange for letting me convert my closet into a hydroponic growing space. So naturally, I was stuck. I needed a legal and fun and fresh way to make money using hydroponics. I googled like, hey, most expensive plant product on the world that is legal, and I got saffron. I think a pound goes for like five to ten thousand dollars. I know, I was hearing dollar signs, I was hearing money, I was hearing startup opportunity. Barley was like, hey, Natalie, you're gonna need like a lot of money to make money off of this. It's just very labor intensive to harvest and that's why expensive. And Natalie, you don't have any labor and you also don't have any lights or shelves and you don't have a half a million dollars lying around to make any money off this. But it was too late, I bought the bulbs as one does on impulse when they're trying to make a million dollars off the startup. Anyway, at this point, it was too late. I had to grow these bulbs. I think I went to six months before starting, but yeah, here's how that project went. Can I curse? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's very simple. Is everything okay? So the setup here is actually pretty simple. It's literally just a tiered shelf with hanging lights and we're doing mostly soil based saffron though we're also doing a couple basic cracky hydroponic setups as well. What's the plan? Okay. Put these hooks and then we'll use a chain to hang this lamp and the lamp is going to be hanging here. Should be easy. <laughs> yeah, that's what we say every time. Oh. Oh. It stopped. Battery? It and try to fit in into the holes on the lamp to see if it fits and if it fits then we are good to continue drilling and uh, putting hooks so we can hang it. That's very simple. I cannot do it. Please don't sew my hands on. Okay honey. Oh, it worked? No. Show them what you got. <laughs> We're gonna hope it's strong enough for the light. What do you think? Are we gonna do? Can, can we double this? them? Here to cover it. Careful, careful. Just hang it. Woo! Now we have to plug it. We it. All this hassle just for that one. It's okay, we got it done. Took it how many mini maps? Six. Exactly. flowers here and it smells amazing if this smells this good when it's half dead barely pushed out of the stock I'm wondering how amazing it's gonna be when all of them end up blooming I'm gonna keep the lights on 24 hours a day because these are very weak lights and also these plants very clearly need it there's no green tint in these stalks whatsoever so I'm thinking that big dosage of sunlight would be good for them okay so I have not checked the plants yet it's the first day <laughs> okay, pretty anticlimactic. Um, I don't know if they're any greener. Okay, so after 12 hours, I really have not noticed a difference in the tint or the size, but it hasn't even been a day yet, so I think it's okay. Hydroponic ones are actually going kind of wild. There's more green on these and as you can see, they're kind of going out in every direction. Who is this guy? What the heck? So we're actually getting some new growth in and that is so exciting. I was actually a little bit worried that the bulbs would just be dead and nothing would grow and I'd just be waiting here for weeks on end. Kind of like the hyacinth grow for a while. Um, and I'm so happy to see that this is not the case at all. They look really good. There's literally no problems as of yet. 
but it's only been a couple days and I don't want to jinx it. So I don't know, things are looking good. I hope they'll stay that way. Look, look how much new growth we're getting on this one. It's not even under the lights. I'm wondering if I should have planted some of the actual flowering ones. finished planting everything. There has been some algae growth on the original ones, so we have broken up that soil so that hopefully that fixes it a little bit. And we planted the rest of it. We added a bunch more lights. Well, my mom added a bunch more lights. I was more in charge of the soil. Most of the plants have grown tall enough so that we don't need bricks anymore. There's one with a flower, but I feel like he may have had a flower originally. Before? Yeah. <laughs> so why is... Oh, there's another one. So yeah, my mom says there's other flowers. Um, things are looking good. I'm leaving for like five days so we'll see what happens after that and if there's any improvements we did give them a light water hopefully that'll be fine do i need to water while you go if you want to you can water them if you'd like but only if the soil is dry you know like when you're having your kids you want to feed them okay? maybe not you know we'll see how we survive or not you well know? plants are stronger than kids are <laughs> inch holes in here just to start them. They're not going to be the correct distance because they're not going to be staying in here. Ah, oh, cat, cat, cat in the hole! Cole! Ma! Cole's in the saffron! Mama! No! 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 small squiggly ones, especially on the top one. This one right here, like it's just so much of really tiny brown. All the baby tiny roots have like frizzled up. Then you just have these big boys right here. There's also flies in the container, which is interesting. I don't know why they're doing that. And I'm also wondering if they're on the other ones, but I cannot see. There's definitely a difference between the color of the tips of these and the normal ones. The hydroponic ones are orange at the end. The other ones are clearly not. I feel like that's an indication of something not so great. There's some yucky white stuff here, but I've only found it in this flower bed. The algae situation here has really not gotten better. Oh, quick note, the basement has been really cold recently because it's winter time. I don't know how that's been affecting the plants. I'm guessing it's just gonna slow down like flower production. I'm trying to put some like flower boosting fertilizer in next week. kind of collapsed spontaneously. I came back one day and they just kind of flopped over, which was heartbreaking, disastrous. Definitely solidified the heartbreak that I had with my hydroponic flower thing. There's a couple explanations for this. So first of all, my basement got cold as I mentioned earlier. Like it literally just was no longer the right temperature, I think, for growing saffron. So that'll do it. It was also by a window, which made the situation much worse. Second, we had the lights on at all times. I explained this early in the video where I was like, yeah, this is for like photosynthesis boosting. No, like plants need a dark period for like respiration and other functions. I think they like needed to sleep. Like imagine someone 
how'd you pr 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 and they were like you can't sleep that's not nice for the plants these little bugs would like be there occasionally I have no idea what's up with that never found out so I am very excited to try this again because it's been a solid year since that girl concluded and those bulbs just kept like sprouting back like they probably had their dormancy period and then came back but I think that means that my bulbs are still viable for something so I think I'd like to try again and get my money back if you guys know anything about flower production or even saffron specifically please comment it down below as you know I have not had luck with flowers on this channel and hydroponics so I would appreciate any insight that you guys have as you guys know when you guys help out we all grow better together thank you so much for watching and have a great day